Hello everybody, I'm Anna Vanilla and this is my new project. It's a bigger project. A bigger project that I've shown online of the things that I do usually at home but I don't share with many people and I thought I can share it with you online on YT and this is a stunning design which I loved it so much I took it from the internet and this is um, a design of two cats in a circle one cat is white one cat is black so it's contrasting at the same time is in yang composition and I thought how cool is that and I thought no I have to do something nice something on my wall to admire something that I've done myself and as you can see it's more like a macrame it's it's a wall hanger it's um, a design for putting as a wall decoration and as you can see it's got a ring this ring continues just like this with faces of two cats one white one black I love both types of cats I love black cats I love white cats I love any cats really uh, they are just my favorite pets I love them and um, as you can see it's an alpha design is as you are familiar uh, alpha bracelet is all known to you I think it's all known online you can find how you do alpha bracelet but this is something bigger than that it takes longer time it is a decoration not just for your wrist it's actually for the wall a kind of gift that you it involves more time more patience more love more heart to put into it more patience i would say more patience and possibly a little bit more experience as well because when you do knotting uh in a big project like this your knots have to be more balanced so it really you really need to be able to do knots with the same tension to make sure it doesn't it doesn't just you know uh, one not being tighter than the other or looser that's not the way to do it and of course you need to do nicely because it's um, something you might be proud of I think I've made a mistake because I'm talking too much <laughs> oh gosh so now yes I think I'm doing right now yeah yes here we go and this is my pattern as you can see is here You can see a black cat and a white cat and it's in yang design contrast of black and white and that would be here eventually but i need to work on it enough time i need to get to this level um third third way through this project so I am still needing to do another three parts another two parts of of the amount that I've already done so I I reckon in about 10 days I can finish <laughs> ah gosh yeah 10 days maybe it depends how often I work on it how many hours a day um, but because I make so many knots obviously I get tension in my hands because it's um, 
it's a lot of work and patience and you need to count you need to have patience to do it and um, I found the actual fingers start, his fingers start to ache uh, yes it makes um, obviously the hands to get tired in the hands and the fingers can ache but it's not so much of a pain but when you do something as beautiful as this you feel motivated and you go beyond pain if it's needed <laughs> um yeah so i i i forget about my discomfort when i create things so i i concentrate i focus on my project and i don't think much about discomfort in my fingers or anything like that i know you would generally get tired doing beautiful things but beautiful things need some sacrifices sometimes so you need to work on it a bit longer to finish it sooner yeah but it's worth it because such a beautiful project not everybody is doing and if you do it like i do it um a, a decoration for the wall in your room in your bedroom um you will be very pleased and your friends and family that will come to see you you will just feel proud to show them what you've done and what you are able to do with your hands and you can you can actually feel like an artist when you have beautiful things like this because you can just say yes i've made this and people would be like wow really how on earth can you make such a beautiful thing and people think you're very talented which is true when you do things like this which is art uh it needs talent to create things like this and it just proves that you have a lot of patience as well so um this is one of the bigger projects uh, I've made I I am making because it's not finished yet I need about this much and this much so it needs to be about here the whole project so as you can imagine all these knots thousands of knots that I do <laughs> takes time and energy and I'm going to update you on this project as well and you're going to see how it evolves into two cats black and white and yin yang circle and decoration like this is shaping out nicely but i did do another project like this one this is also the technique of friendship bracelets as you can see it's a lot of work this is the back side it's a lot of work i think i've been working on it for months and but this is normal pattern bracelet that i've taken online from a website of bracelets i love the pattern so much you see with, with hearts and with a butterfly and i thought i'm just got, going to do it and i loved the the color to be neon green and i thought oh maybe it may it may light in the dark or something <laughs> and i thought i'm going to do like a purse so i would stitch here and here put a zipper up here and for it to be like a purse and this is uh one of my bigger projects 
than this but as you can see it's not alpha made brace alpha bracelet technique in here it's actually a normal bracelet technique um, so um, it's also quite rough it's, as you can see is very durable this is also quite durable but I just thought for the sake of the experience I have to do it and yeah see you next time hello again so this is after a while I do this video after some time uh, as you can say as you can see sorry um, I've been working quite a bit I was about here now I've done pretty much everything but as you can see uh, I've done the middle part the main composition is done and this is the pattern so I'm I've done this this bit this bit here and the continuity of this pattern goes like this so I am here in the second row so now I have to be working with black black thread it will be in the middle like a circle like this with black to finish this cat and white on the side it's a bit of work to be honest it took me quite a bit of days i thought i'm going to do it quicker but it took me quite a bit of days to hold on to the video until i can actually do and show something to you so now as you can see it's very nice it's um, it takes shape already it's two kittens yin yang composition and i love it so much it's peaceful to do a thing like this for the wall uh, to decorate or to give to somebody special something like this whilst you do you create it yourself with your own fingers with your own hand it's a pleasure to do and um, please somebody with your work and i'm going to give mine also to a best my best friend um so it's um it becomes quite long and i think i'll have to upgrade um my um upgrade the actual folder because this one doesn't quite hold the bigger projects like this quite well it doesn't hold quite well so i'm going to buy a new one so that i could do bigger projects like this with no any discomfort and because as you can see it's bending a little bit and it's slightly uncomfortable to work with but i cope because i have no other choice for the moment i have to use what i have so these are the kittens enjoy looking at them so i love black cats i love white cats i love any cats I hope you do as well. <laughs> After this project, I'm about to do a bracelet again, but with a different version, with updated version of me, by me, uh, a version that I created. I'm going to show you in my next video, so stay tuned. A lot of yarn goes for 
a project like this. It's used a lot of yarn. So bear in mind you need at least 100 grams of each color to actually be able to do a project like this. So please note this, yeah. Mm. I have to put new thread in here and new yarn. That is beautiful, I love it. It's sparkly, it's nice, it's, it's like a carpet to decorate your walls. So here is a bit later when I've done a bit more to this project. As you can see, I folded this piece in parts like this, so it's more uh, comfortable for me to do the knotting because the knotting, as you already know, is alpha knotting. And I'm a, a bit, I'm about here. So as you can see, I need to do this much up to here, plus a little bit of white here because as you can see I started a bit lower the actual design so I need to do a bit this this much at the bottom as well when I'll finish up the actual circle the circle doesn't look like a circle it's very much like an egg but I still think it's it, it does look like a cat this one like a cat so I think um, this project is successful after all after so much work I put in it and obviously I'll have to uh, straighten it a bit because as you work sometimes things can go strange ways <laughs> strange shapes uh, and because this is a lot of knotting a lot of work it might um, look a bit misshapen but um, um, it's I love it I love it I don't know what about you but I love it I'm still left to do a little bit here this much to do the circle in black and then white at the side and a little bit white at the bottom as I've shown you before and I think the project will be finished I just hope it will look uh, lovely to be put on the wall as a decoration and I think it's cute I think this design is very cute I love the kitties they look stunning here i've got the accents of the eyes here as you can see accents and here is like they sort of curl up together and they love each other because as you know cats love each other very much they love their sisters and brothers and even sometimes they love a different different cats different dogs they're very kind little human beings really and I hope you can also think about a project like this that you can do uh, because it's worth it it's worth to decorate your walls with something as intriguing as this so It's contrasting it will look nice on the wall it will probably look nice on any kind of wall because it's black and white it doesn't have to be a particular colors that you've got the wall painted in but black and white is suits at, on a different colors on a different and on any colors so I think 
you shouldn't be worried if you do a design like this in uh, black and white because it will suit any kitchen any any uh, room any office and i think it's a great gift to give to your parents when you do something like this and show how much you love them and enjoy and adore them uh, to have something made out of your hands something like a craft like this to be done especially for them especially if they like uh, pets they like cats they like animals uh, this will be a great theme for them to enjoy and uh, appreciate and think that you think of them so much that you can create such a thing such a precious little thing as this it's a little thing but it's a big thing because it's a big project So, passed a couple of days and I'm still working on this project. As you can already see, I am at the end of this project of two kitties, yin yang, as you remember, the design, the decoration is and now i'm doing the more like a frame to this um, design so i do white framing here as you can see i finished the the black the oval thing here and now I am just doing like a couple of um, rows with white thread to frame this piece because as you remember at the top I had a bit of white framing and only then I started to do the actual uh, circle the actual design now I'm doing the same so it's balanced and the top and the bottom of um, the the design the decoration so um, as you can see um, as you can see, I am about here. Let's unfold this piece. Yes. Oh, it's a lot of knotting here. Maybe millions of knots. Goodness me, when did I have so much time and patience to do it? <laughs> so, as you can see, this is what I'm talking about, is the framing of this piece. So this piece here, the white piece, uh, containing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven rows. I need to do seven rows here as well. Oh, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Um, so I need to do about seven rows here as well so that it balances the actual picture from the bottom as well and it will be nice thing to hang on the wall of course it's, it needs to be stretched a bit a bit a bit shaped and it's really a masterpiece that you are doing with your own hands I am proud to be doing such a beautiful design first time I've seen this this um, picture on the internet I thought I just have to do it I just loved it so so much I thought 
it's just something that has to be done and praised this particular picture design needs to be praised and hanged on the wall and being admired by your family and friends it's just stunning i love it i'm not regretting to have spent so much time and patience working for this piece because of course i've done so many knots here worth probably 10 or more for example bracelets in alpha knotting like i've done here so um i think uh it was worth it it was worth to do one piece but one piece very successfully very 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 good been doing 20 pieces and all of them are a bit like uh awkwardly done and a bit unsuccessful you know some not everything can be that successful but this i think when you work so much and you put so much effort and patience uh, and love into this i think it creates a quite successful piece for your home it's amazing i love it look at this So this is a bit even later so i got to this point where i've added seven rows one two three four five six seven this is the eighth one that i do i thought to do maybe another two rows or something like that so that it will just look nicer and then i'll do the tassels after that and I think this project will be done will be finished in just a moment so I have been quite happy to do this project because um, the design is so beautiful and I knew it was going to look very successful at the end of this project and would look very cute and adorable and will bring a lot of beauty and peace to your home because this design is about love, about peace, about pets that you love so much that we all love so much and i think you should try and do something like this yourself and um just promise to yourself you can actually get on with such a project i know i've used about not about but exactly i have um i have 80 knots 80 threads and um here i have 80 threads and it's a lot of work to put them together to start the zero row and then um of course 80 together 80 um 80 threads is a lot to to do the knotting with and then just doing a small bracelet but of course it's a lot more satisfying when you're doing a bigger project like this because uh, it's something that will stay on the wall if not forever it will just sorry my mom started talking in the project in the middle of my project <laughs> So yeah, I think 80 
threads are good to do, are good to need, to not, and you are just relaxing most of the time because all you think is counting how much you're doing, how many rows, how many of a dark element and the light element you need to cover with knots and threads and yarn in general and I think um, um, yeah it might be for somebody like a beginner might be too difficult to do this in the beginning like a project as big as this but still I think it's doable because something like this is not really that complicated as it seems it's just a lot of time you need to spend on it a lot of patience and love and desire for doing something nice and good and beautiful like this so I think you shouldn't be afraid to take on a project like this and it will create always a special gift when you give to someone special something like this that you've done with your own hands As you can see, I've done the tassels. I've taken because because obviously um, each row contains 80 strings. I was able to choose about nine strings, and the last one had eight strings. And every nine strings, I have done the knot, a big knot like this. And I thought to make them shorter, but then I thought it would just look nicer if it's longer. Because it's a longer project, it's a bigger project, why not to have longer tassels? Let's have a look now on the whole piece. I'm really curious to see how it looks like now. Here it is. We need to stretch it slightly like this. And tassels. So I will see then how I can hang on the wall. Maybe I'll just hang it like this from the middle. But I have to scratch this up a little bit so that it's even. But as you can see, it's very nice. It's very nice. I finished this project and I'm very proud of it. Look at this beautiful combination. Yeah, it's it's lovely. I love it. It's like a tapestry, really. It is, in fact, a type of tapestry. And why not then you try to do something like this? Look at this. It's stunning. Anybody that would come into your home would just be wowed and surprised about this thing that you might have been doing like this in your home symbolically it's very positive positive peace cats are very positive very intelligent creatures and it's I think it's stunning this composition of two cats is just beautiful it's a unity of the two of the two cats and the knots 
here. Obviously, it's got a lot of knots at the back. Yeah. A lot of knots on the back. Uh, some of them I need to shorten and cut them. Maybe hide them like these ones so they don't they're not see is seen from the other side. Uh, but I'm very overall I'm very pleased. I love it. Do you love honey owl? Yes. What do you like the most? <laughs> in this composition, in this decoration. Mm. Would you like mm. it to have oh. it on your wall? Yes, yes, of course. Mm. It's beautiful. And of course you have seen me working on it almost daily. <laughs> mm -hmm. Doing the knots all and all the time sometimes even without a break and i was like oh my bum aches is too much i sit too much i work too much i need to have a break because i was just working so intensively uh, on this project <laughs> so this is quite nice isn't it yeah. we should think where we can hang it as well it's beautiful thank you very much for subscribing uh, welcome your friends to watch my videos also and hope to see you soon in the next video and don't you be afraid to take on such projects because they're not difficult once you know how to do it bye bye